Hey, I'm Doc North. Hope you guys are doing well. In this video, I'll be talking about the Morgana team. That is one of the most popular teams in Genshin Impact for clearing all content alongside the national team. And basically, it trivializes all content in the game except against single boss enemies like Mechanical Array in Last Abyss and the Magu Kenki, where you might run into some problems, but you should still be able to clear it. And I'll go over the pros and cons of why it is so broken later in the video, but first let's talk about the actual team and how it works. It consists of Kanyu, Mona, Venti, and Diona. The rotation is simple. You start with Diona EQ, apply Cryo to the enemy, use Venti EQ and CC them, and swirl Cryo, then Mona EQ to freeze and apply Omen debuff, and then Ganyu burst in E and start doing charge shots, and repeat whenever everyone's bursts are off cooldown over and over until whatever you're fighting is dead. So let me go over why these specific characters make up this team and if there are any possible replacements if you don't have them. First is well obviously Gan Yu. Her charge shots do a lot of damage, she also gets crit rate from her passive, her burst has no downtime as the cooldown is same as the duration, it also has a unique interaction with Venti burst. So in this team you do want to level her burst to as high as possible as it's going to significantly contribute to the team damage. It also gives the team cryo damage bonus which further increases Ganyu's damage. And Ganyu also benefits from the 4 piece blizzard set, her passive 20% crit rate to her charge shots and cryo resonance giving you more leeway with substats on artifacts. The only character that can take her place in this team would be Ayaka, while it won't work the exact same, it does work. So if you don't have Ganyu but have Ayaka you can also use this team with her. Next is Mona who is the most important part of this team because of her burst which inflicts omen debuff on enemies. All enemies with this debuff take 60% more damage at level 10 of Mona's burst. But the cool thing about it is that if it gets frozen, its duration gets extended and with enough ER on Mona and Ganyu and proper batterying, you can have this debuff on enemies almost all the time, getting a near permanent 60% damage modifier which is basically allowing Ganyu to reverse Meld without using a Pyro character. Of course the damage ceiling still can't match Meld Ganyu because EM is a thing that exists that increases Meld damage but does absolutely nothing here. But keep in mind that this is damage on top of Permafreeze and free 40% crit rate from 4 Blizzard and 15% from Cryo Res, giving a lot of leeway in substats and bad artifacts. What Mona provides is something that no other Hydro character does, so while she can be replaced as a freeze enabler, her damage amp is unique only to her. Thus, the damage of the team falls off drastically if she is replaced or not present. Next is Wenti. Wenti and Ganyu bursts have a pretty crazy interaction. When all the enemies are grouped up by Wenti, each single shard of Ganyu burst hits in an AoE and hits all the enemies, doing damage to all of them with just one shot. Venti also hard crowd controls and even enemies with high weight like the current Abyss Ruined Machines, it's not a problem for him because when enemies are frozen, their weight drops to zero, allowing them to be crowd controlled. And he also shreds resistance with forward iridescent and also refunds cryo energy to fuel Ganyu burst, lowering her ER requirement. Venti can be replaced by Kazuha who can directly buff Ganyu's damage. While you lose out on Venti Ganyu burst combo, he's still very strong in Morgana, followed by Sucrose and C6 who gives elemental damage bonus as well. Freeze and Animal Crowd Control together allows Ganyu to not be interrupted when doing her charge shots. So now let's talk about Diona. Diona gives a shield, healing, and can battery the entire team with Favonius or battery just Ganyu with a sacrificial bow. She also enables Cryo Resonance giving Ganyu even more crit rate. Also, she enables Venti to swirl Cryo at the beginning of the rotation very easily with her E and Q. With how many things she does, she's kind of hard to replace, but can be replaced by Rosaria who is a crit feeder, giving even more crit to Ganyu, and has a short E skill cooldown making her a decent battery. Kaya also works, but you just have to stay up close to the enemy as it all revolves around the character. So let's talk about some pros and cons of Morgana. First, it has very high AoE damage, which is amazing for the current 4.12.3, and absolutely decimates and trivializes any content that requires AoE damage. The enemy being frozen permanently means their mechanics don't matter. This, along with animal crowd control from Venti, means you don't have to dodge as much 
or even think if you have enough ER, you can just EQ through your team and do a few charge shots and achieve victory. Third is Ganyu in this team gets 40% crit rate from 4 Blizzard, which is always active, 15% from Cryo Resonance, and 20% from her passive for her charge shots. 75% in total on top of the 5% base, making it 80% free crit rate. Get a few crit rate substats here and there and some crits cards in the abyss and your Ganyu will crit every shot. Now let's talk about some cons of Morgana. Against single bosses with high HP pools, like in the previous abyss Mechanical Array and the Magu Kenki in the current abyss, this team would be slower compared to other teams and won't be as trivial as it is with multiple enemies. Though obviously it can still clear that content, it's, it's just gonna be harder compared to using another team. And of course, Cryo Slimes, the mortal enemy of Morgana. And that's the Morgana team. Hope this helps you understand how it works and how to play it. If you have any questions or corrections, feel free to leave them down below. If you found this helpful, consider leaving a like and if you want to see more stuff like this, be sure to sub to the channel. We are close to 400 subs, so I would really appreciate your support. Thanks for watching, have a good one.